Hey guys, Jay here and welcome back to the channel. So we've got a Terra Luna Classic update to go through here, which is primarily directed at the wrapped Luna side of things. So if you're someone who's been trying to benefit off of that possible arbitrage, or if you're looking just for general news on the situation, or how you redeemed your assets, this is going to be the video for you. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notifications bell to stay informed. So we have been made aware previously that they would reopen the shuttle bridge for redemption of wrapped assets on Terra Classic. A word of warning before we go any further into this video, do not attempt to use or utilize the shuttle bridge. It seems to have reopened for a testing period. Once again, do not use or utilize the shuttle bridge until TFL has given us an official announcement that signals the green light telling us this system is ready for use. You may lose your assets and these videos are for educational purposes only. So I did make two very small test transactions and I was able to do this because the wallet providing the liquidity for these two transactions had just enough to suffice. So I sent 10K LUNC and 201 USTC. These were wrapped assets that I redeemed through the shuttle bridge. The USTC cost me around $2 in gas fees and the LUNC cost me around 46 cents in gas fees. You can see that I do have a failed transaction here because I wanted to see what would happen if I sent more then it had to pay out. Would it revert to another wallet? Would it therefore go and claim those from the actual shuttle bridge itself? It seems that they are just simply testing it and they're going to need to bolster their test wallet back up because old HCC has drained it. So we can see that it has got 257 LUNC left and around nine to 10 K USTC remaining as well. Anyone could redeem this right now, but my honest advice, which is just for educational purposes only, is do not use or utilize this system until we get the green light. Once again, wait for the green light. It's very important that you do not get yourself in a rushed manner during a time like this. You could lose a lot of coins. So as you can see, I sent a 100K LUNC transaction that did fail and I did get the coins back. So I am safe on that front. So when we're looking at the timeline for everything that's going on right now, we did not expect this shuttle bridge to reopen until September 19th at the very earliest. But like I said, it seems they've reopened it for testing and this signals to us that they are planning and preparing for this to go ahead. This is really, really good news for us and we are starting to see a bit of a positive reaction in the wrapped Luna Classic price. So we did do a video previously here on the channel. I'll, I'll leave a link to it. And we were explaining about this arbitrage opportunity that was available. At the current time of this video, there is around a 47% difference in price between Luna Classic and wrapped Luna Classic. So there's still an arbitrage opportunity there. And what we've seen leading up to this is people are accumulating wrapped Luna Classic. We're seeing a bit of a clawback now and we could probably see this thing rip even higher. And the reason why I'm saying this is because people are going to want to cash in on that arbitrage opportunity. And until that situation equalizes out and that arbitrage opportunity has been completely shut down, we're going to continue to see the price move upwards. The thing is with this whole situation, it's a ticking time bomb because they have stated once the bridge becomes active, they are going to start their 30 day countdown window. And that 30 day countdown window is going to leave us in a position where you've got a limited amount of time. And if you do not redeem those assets within that window, you're going to see them burn. So the other thing we're going to see is the moving of all of the assets that are held in the shuttle bridge wallets. As we've explained in the previous video here on the channel, there's more than just one. There's actually free wallets. We will also see a new simplified shuttle bridge interface that is made available for users to redeem those wrapped assets in that 30 day time window. So you will be saying bye bye to this interface and possibly saying hello to a brand new interface. So once again, 
do not use and utilize this shuttle bridge and wait for further instructions from TFL. We are seeing more signs of motion coming from those LFG reserves as well. All of the systems are currently in error mode and we can see that the balance is not showing the correct amount. So this once again signals to us that there are things going on in the background and they are preparing leading up to this court case on the 19th of September. So do I think the 30 day window starts from here? Absolutely not. I think the 30 day window will begin from the day that they make that new shuttle bridge available and they come out with an official announcement. I think there's going to be a lot of trading to arbitrage that opportunity to try possibly increase their portfolios. That's definitely going to be good for the blockchain going forward. But once again, it's one big ticking time bomb and we're going to see crazy amounts of volume pushing through on wrapped Luna classic as they start to make all these different test transactions in the background as we can see here showing up at around 4,382 percent on the current volume so when we go in and we look at both of those shuttle bridge assets on Lunk Dash, just looking at that main wallet, we can see the USTC has not moved. We can see that we're still seeing a very static line. And then we can also flick over to the LUNC side of that wallet and see that once again, a static line and none of those assets are yet moved. And that is the same across board for all of those wallets that are involved, both on the LUNC side and the USTC side. So that I hope gets you up to date with what is currently happening with the shuttle bridge. There is some news circulating and going around in regards to this. It doesn't really go into it deep enough. And I feel like it's gonna signal a lot of people to go in and try to attempt to make those transactions. Do understand, like I said in the video, it was only able to make my two transactions because the liquidity wallet facilitating those transactions actually had that amount in it. From my perspective, absolutely nothing has changed timeline wise. And I think we should stick to what we know in this situation and just assume they're going ahead and doing tests. So just touching base on that timeline again, we are waiting for September 19th, 2024. And this is where there's going to be that planned confirmation hearing in the chapter 11 bankruptcy cases. This will lead to the scenario of all of the T's and all of the I's being dotted that initiation of burning all of those assets and then seeing what is going to happen with those LFG reserves. And if you are interested with what could possibly happen with those LFG reserves, check out the video I provide at the end there for you and see who is making a rather substantial claim against it and who Three Arrows Capital really are. So let's wait, let's see what happens and when we're gonna get some news from TFL themselves. Let's hold the line, let's be smart and let's not get ahead of ourselves in this situation. And more importantly, let's help others remain safe and let's help others not falter try and like and share this video if you see it on Twitter share it to the next person there's a lot of confusion that goes around in the Terra Classic community and what we find is people are simply not working for their bags they're not sharing information they're not providing those explanations that people are going to great lengths to provide so I am going to be providing a shuttle bridge tutorial video when that is officially made available and we've got that simplified interface I'm also going to be working on an explainer video which really puts the whole wallet infrastructure into a bite-sized explainer helping everyone on this blockchain better understand what happens when one of these dApps shut down and that you simply just move to another D app. And then I hope by providing those, you'll go out and you'll share those, you'll show those to people and you'll help educate others against the FUD that is put out there in regards to wallets or CEX is delisting us and different things like that. If there was ever something that major to worry about, HCC would be on it rapid as I always have been in the past. I'm always gonna stand by this blockchain. I always have stood by this blockchain regardless of the ups, the downs, the lefts and the rights always going to be here. So guys, if you like the content here, consider dropping a like, subscribe, comment, hit the notifications bell to stay informed. And aside that, stay safe, stay humble, stay aware, and I'll catch you in the next one.